Uh, good afternoon, it's Roger Gilbert here from Milling and Grain Magazine. I'm in the Rongo Rongo Live video studio and I have the pleasure to be talking to the technical director from Alapala. Alapala has built the first flour mill in Somali Somaliland in Northern Africa, which is on the tip of Africa, was part of Somalia, but in 1991 gained its self declared independence from Somalia. Today it has 5 million people, it has three major cities and is celebrating this month, actually it's celebrated on the 18th of uh, May, its 29th anniversary in, of independence. So it's in its 30th year and it's a good time to be reporting this news. It's a very, uh, very small country of 5 million people but it's growing rapidly at 3% per year and in Somalia itself uh, it has one of the highest uh, growth rates at 6.26 uh, children per woman and is the fourth highest in the world. So this area is growing rapidly and it's very good to see that Somalia, uh, Somaliland, has uh, a new flour mill. Uh, I'm being joined by uh, our guest, uh, Milan Shan, who is the technical director of uh, at Alapala and has oversight for the new mill in Somaliland. Uh, welcome, Milan. Welcome to the Ronga Ronga Live Studio. We're interested Thank in you. we're interested in learning a little bit about uh, the project that you have in North Africa there. Thank you for having me on uh, the air. And uh, I would like to uh, say this project in uh, Somaliland. It's in the vicinity of uh, Berbera Port. Uh, thus, uh, the location is very near the port where the wheat comes in from, the imported wheat comes in from. And uh, the company uh, is called the National Flour Mill Company in Somaliland, which is a private enterprise uh, promoted by private uh, entrepreneurs. And uh, the mill, we are, as Alpala, we did the whole project, if you would like to say, on a turnkey basis, but not quite turnkey, whereby we supplied the raw wheat silos, the pre-engineered steel building for the mill, the mill machinery, uh, and some warehousing. The client's responsibilities were to have the infrastructure done on the land and to carry out the required civil works. The capacity of the mill is 300 tons per day of grinding of wheat. Hmm. Is that uh, import, obviously imported wheat? Is it on a port or is it near a major, one of the major cities? Well, Berbera is a port uh, which was built many years ago as a naval port by the Russians. And uh, since uh, when Somaliland uh, gained its independence, it has become the main port of uh, Somaliland. Hmm. And most of the uh, 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 foodstuffs and all the products being imported into Somaliland go through Berbera. Uh, okay. Um, I'm just going to show a couple of pictures of the mill itself. If you would take us through some of the specifications of the mill. I know you've said it's doing 300 tons a, a day, but uh, maybe there's some uh, special aspects that uh, you'd like to tell us about. The, this mill uh, was basically as what we in Alapala believe is that we are a solution provider to the customer's need. So this mill was a, was a solution to what the customer required in, in terms of flour and in terms of the wheat which he is going to import. So this was tailor made to the requirements of Somaliland and let's say some of the neighboring countries of Somaliland where these products might go. Hmm. Uh, the, the flour is essentially because uh, in Somalia, they do have a large consumption of wheat-based products, bread, flatbread, and so forth. So most of the mill's production will go into the Somali market itself, Somali land market, and whatever is a surplus will be exported. This is what we understand. Um, up till now, all the flour was being imported into Somali land because as there were, this, uh, as there were no mills. So this is a first mill. So I think economically and uh, in terms of uh, uh, employment creation and all this, this is a, 
a, a project which will really see the starting of industrialization of uh, Somaliland. And uh, Milan, just returning to the actual population itself, I mean, this is the first flour mill. I mean, what sort of impact do you think it's going to have uh, on on the population of, of that country, given that in the past everything had to be re imported as sort of like a, a finished flour? Here we, 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 we see that the the flour which will be milled in Somaliland will be to the requirement or the palate of the people of Somaliland. Whereas before the imported flour, maybe it was coming from Europe or um, the Middle East or somewhere there, uh, which was a standard flour which is exported throughout the world. So this is uh, a flour which will be tailor milled for the people of Somaliland. And another vital aspect of this mill is that uh, in this mill, they can fortify the flour as directed by the authorities uh, or the World Health Organization and so forth. So this is the flexibility of the mill. Mm. We did mention that you know, the population is expanding quite rapidly. And I, I would imagine the demand for nutritious foodstuffs mm -hmm. uh, is, is very much uh, evident. And uh, this sounds like, even though it's called the National Flour Mill, it sounds like industry itself has taken the initiative to try and address local needs. That's right. And what we believe is that uh, with this, uh, uh, as all, all over Africa, what we see is uh, Africa has a young population. Mm. And this young population has now access to better education, better communication in terms of internet, uh, mobile phones, uh, the media, uh, and they see what is going around in the world. And if you look at it, it could be a part of an education which they see what is going around. So with, with this influence, it also has an effect on the diets and all that. They tend to be more Western now. Uh, so. This mill will cater because there's a, there will be a, a greater demand for wheat-based products, and mm. this mill will cater for that. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and the important thing is that with this young population and with the stress on education and all that, so vital nutrition is required, and hence the flower fortification is one of the important factors of uh, nutrition. Mm. And just as an aside, I mean, the wheat is not a obviously a traditional uh, uh, crop in Africa. I mean, uh, is the mill capable or looking to mill other grains that may be locally produced? Well, this mill has the, the let's say, for the future, it has the possibility to uh, mill sorghum because sorghum is like more or less an indigenous crop mm. in, in that area. And uh, it, it does well in arid land, uh, arid environments. So, and sorghum is nutritious and all that. So there could be a possibility of blending uh, sorghum flour with uh, wheat-based flour for the, let's say, the production of bread mm. or biscuits or whatever uh, will go down the line. And uh, just talking about modern communications, uh, I understand the, the mill was commissioned during the pandemic. Uh, how did you, yes, how did you uh, it's, it's very interesting because uh, when it came to the time of uh, commissioning the mill, uh, this pandemic set in and travel bans were imposed. So, and but luckily we had one guy, uh, one uh, technician or supervisor on the ground who could not travel back to Turkey. Uh, so we had to find a way to. Uh, commissioned the mill. So uh, we commissioned the mill remotely from our factory in Chorum with our uh, supervisor on the ground in Somaliland. Uh, it was a difficult task, but uh, we managed to do it and the mm -hmm. mill is running. Yeah. And, and are you building other mills in Africa? I mean, this, this is not obviously the only one. Uh, what are the other projects that you have underway? As we speak, uh, we have an ongoing project in Benin, which has uh, also not quite come to a stop, but uh, slowed down because of this pandemic. We still have a team 
on the ground in uh, Benin. So they're trying to do work as much as they can under these conditions. Uh, but in the past, we, we have mills in Tunisia, Morocco, Algeria, Egypt. That's in the um, uh, northern part of Africa. Mm -hmm. We have mills in the western part of Africa, West Africa. Um, I think uh, some uh, time ago you did an article of the uh, mill in Kenya, which we, which we recently did. Uh, we have mills in South Africa, uh, in Zambia, uh, Mozambique, uh, Angola. Uh, so we are quite spread out in Africa because we believe that there is a great potential for Africa. Uh, it's no longer uh, counted as a backward continent. It's probably the most progressive continent in, in the world now. Uh, prior to this pandemic, well, the, we still had the same uh, vision as what we have now. Uh, and we see that after this pandemic passes over, when some normality returns, after the discoveries of vac uh, vaccines and uh, cures and all that, uh, Africa will have a very, very good future. Mm. That is very a very positive uh, note uh, to, to actually end on. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Milan Shah, Technical Director of Alapala, for joining us today and giving us an insight into Somaliland's first flour mill. Congratulations on that fabulous outcome and uh, a little bit of an insight into Africa in general. But thank you very much, Milan, for your time today. Uh, all the best for the future. Thank you very much, Roger, for having me on. Thank you.